comment, then we'll open it up for questions. All right. Um, first of all, we're really excited to be here. Everyone has been extremely accommodating and welcoming. Uh, it's a great place to be right now. Uh, we're excited the opportunity to play Texas A&M. Uh, that's coached by the legendary Gary Blair. Uh, great team with a lot of really good players, and we're just hoping that tomorrow's going to be a fast-paced, up-tempo, fun game. Question to the right, Christy. Uh, Christy Regan from the Associated Press. Hi, when, when you're um, in the have a team in the tournament for the first time and or the first time in a few years, um, and you're face, facing a team that's you know in it 14 straight years and has so much experience, what, what do you do or what do you say to your um, ladies to kind of? Um, help them deal with that situation? We don't talk about the 14 years. Uh, what we do is talk about the team that's here right now. Uh, and I think that, again, there's some things that will help us uh, in terms of this is the first time I think Blair's teams have been this young. Um, there's some things that hopefully we will be able to take advantage of. Uh, again, that's that's hard to say with a team that's so good. Uh, but I do think that what we do is stay focused on us more than anyone else, and that's what we've done all season, is concentrate and making sure we're playing our best basketball and at the same time respecting anybody we play but making sure we're not fearing anybody. To the left, Cease. Uh, Robert Sesson, Bryan College Station Eagle coach. If you Hello. face any guard the caliber of uh, Kennedy Carter, how do you go ahead and defend her by keep her from going off? Any kid that's that talented, and I remember Kennedy Carter from Nike Nationals when she blew up right before her senior year. Uh, so she's a really fun player to watch. Uh, what we're concentrating and focusing on is making sure that she doesn't get easy shots. We're going to try to contest them as well as we can, and we're going to use all five people to defend her. Um, and we've got some that I think are willing to step up to the challenge and, and see what they can do. To the right, Christy. Obviously, you talked about the being focused and everything, but as, as far as like fundamentals, what's what's one thing that your team will have to do, do you think, to, to come out on top tomorrow? Well, one of the reasons we've been successful is we put a lot of emphasis on defending and rebounding. Uh, and obviously, you've got some really good athletes on A&M's team, um, including Jones, who's averaging 11 rebounds a game. Uh, it's something that we have uh, really concentrated on all year. And I think that that's the most important thing. One of the things that we do is try to get as many opportunities as we can at the basket, and we do that through offensive rebounding. So it's going to be a really big deal that we are aggressive, and we're trying to make sure that we accomplish that like we have all year. Left side, Cease. So, if you played any one coach, you can compare AM to this. You play Michigan State during the tournament. Uh, Green Bay's always really good. Anybody remind you that you played on AM in a similar style? No, actually, our, it's our guards that um, usually are the best ones in the game. Uh, so, they've got some challenges ahead of them. Uh, we've got some really good seniors uh, that are thousand point scorers that are used to getting that ball up and down the floor. Uh, we've got some additions with Mikael Miller and Angel Baker that are really good off the bounce that like to create for themselves and other people. Uh, so honestly, when we play people, we usually have the best guard. So tomorrow will be a, a big challenge for them to step up and play. Right side, Christy. Uh, you talked about uh, Gary Blair being a legend and, and coaching. Do you have a relationship with him and have you known him for a long time? Could you discuss that a little? Well, I'm fortunate that my father's been coaching for 30 years in summer ball, and so he's had some pretty talented teams, which has allowed him to build some relationships, and I've been fortunate enough for those relationships to pass on to me, and uh, Coach Blair is one of them. Um, so him and my dad have far more of a relationship than I do, but what's really cool is um, – Tanil Adams, my associate head coach, played for him at Arkansas, was on that Final Four team. Uh, and I think that uh, when I wanted to hire her this year, she had this list of references, and I jumped at the opportunity to call Coach Blair just to get him on the phone to talk for a few minutes. Uh, so I just think that he's just a really good guy who obviously knows a lot about basketball. And anyone who's in our basketball community has a great amount of respect for him. And I do think that it's pretty special to have some connections to him, especially with Tanil being on staff. Christy? Um. He said uh, Tanil might be giving away some of his secrets. Do so you think she helped you out at, at all and as far as knowing what he's what to expect from him? Absolutely. Uh, I think it, it helps you a little bit when there's some familiarity. Uh, I think it helps our kids, too. Like you alluded to earlier, there's no secret that night in, night out, they play in the SEC, and their level of competition is extremely high. And I think in order for us to make sure our kids are aware that we can compete and not to just count only on that, um, that she's been really vital in that situation and saying, hey, this is some big-time basketball, but we've played some, too. So we got a chance out here. Time for a few more. Left side, Cease. So how do you handle, you talk, talk about a better team, you handle, they have the home court advantage. Let's see, for example, did you split Green Bay, lose on the road, but win at home? Uh, how did you keep the pair of options? You know, A&M's got such a home court advantage. 
the best weapon that we have is we don't give a lot of information and we don't talk about a lot of things that appear to be a disadvantage. What we do is we focus on the things that are an advantage to us. Um, and, and this is a position that we haven't been in all year, uh, or at least for not a long time, I will say, and where we are the underdogs. And it's been historically a position that we're probably more comfortable with. Uh, we are a battling, fighting, tough, 40 minutes of grind it out, figure out a, a way to win type of team. Uh, so I think that today, uh, when we're preparing, we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, hey, there's not a lot of pressure here uh, because it is their home court and because they do play in the SEC and they're the four seed. That our job is just to go out here and play as hard and as well as we can. Anything else for Coach? To the left, Cease. Uh, Robert Sessa, Bryant College Station, Eagle and McKenzie. Your coach talked normally about when you go in the game, she has the better guards. Uh, tomorrow, you're a little bit of the underdog with Kennedy Carter. How do you deal with Kennedy? Um, I think that we've got to take it as a team, um, not leave anyone on island. We know she's a good player. She's going to make shots. And um, as a team, we just got to play good team defense and, you know, really come together and stop um, them as a whole, but really focus in on just playing together. Right side, Christy. Christy Reekin from the Associated Press. Um, Emily, when you're a team that um, hasn't, doesn't have NCAA tournament experience and you're facing one that's been in the tournament every year, how do you guard against the experience factor? What, what, what do you think when you go into a game like that? Uh, we're just going to have to stick together. Um, we're, we know it's going to be a tough environment out there, but if we stick together, we'll be fine. Left side, Cease. Mikhail, what's what's the difference? What got you guys over the hump to get the NCAA tournament? You know, it's been a while. What's different about this team than the other teams? Um, I would say just playing as a team and not um, playing for ourselves, but playing for our team, um, playing together and sticking together and keeping our main goal um, in front of us and not letting you know any of the obstacles, uh, personal injuries that we've been through, um, take a toll on us and just sticking together. Any more? To the right, Christy. McKenzie, if you had to pick one thing that you guys have to do tomorrow in order to win, what, what would be the most important thing? Well, with my coach sitting back there, I would say <laughs> defend and rebound. <laughs> um, Good answer. Yeah, it's going to take everything. We're all going to have to play well, and we're all going to have to show up. And I think if, if we all show up, we'll be all right, and we'll be able to compete. To the right side. Uh, Mikkel, weren't you here in Texas last year? I was, yes. And what, what, so what was that experience like? Um, it was different, obviously, than uh, the different environments I've been in. Actually, uh, we scrimmaged against Texas and m last year. Uh, I went against Kennedy Carter and a lot of other good players that were on the team. And um, She's a great player. She made good plays. She made good reads, um, get her team involved, and she you know, can do things that not many other players can do. But we're also good, and we can also um, – deliver when we're playing together. So that's nothing to worry about. Mikkel, that was Trinity Valley Community College? Yes. Is that right? Very good. All right. 